Back to my beer and podcast, episode 19. Today I'm joined by Darkrai. Hello, I'm back. Sorry for late review. We, we wanted to do it day of, but my grandma died day of, so none of that. My got that, got that, thank you, thank you, got that day off of work today so we can get her done a little earlier in the day, maybe get the video up quick. Quick, he says. No, I refuse. See how quick Vicious can edit this? <laughs> Let's see, alright, but anyways, Valentine's in the mid at the end of March. Yeah, very funny. Valentine's company. at the end of March. We still didn't it beat White Day though. We beat White Day. <laughs> That's crazy. All that right. Even like a holiday at NA, but you know we did it anyway. Mhm. Mm All right. There's uh, the EA is in the whatever the thing EA current. That's not here yet. So we'll get to that next podcast. That'll be. Is it Hunter Hunter or Miku next? Uh, it's I think Hunter Hunter. Uh, we we haven't got an announcement yet, so we'll wait for their uh march news video or april i'm not sure did they release march news yet uh no then okay uh, well, i'm not did sure because they, they did the february one like on the 5th of february they got that shit out mad early yeah usually usually i usually have to wait but till the last month, one, last day of the month. They're, they're making up for it in march by they're gonna release it on like the last day easy or, or something maybe, like maybe that. they'll maybe they'll bless us and we'll get april news on the first as the greatest april fools joke of all uh yes Oh, we're planning on doing April Fool's podcast. Now, keep out for that. Oh, I, I won't. I won't spoil it. But all right. So Thank let's you, get baby. straight into it. Should you roll? Absolutely fucking God, no. God no. This, no. This might be the lowest value machine we've had in a hot minute. This is a this, scam. This machine is a straight up scam. Uh, and I'm gonna say it now. I think V Noah is also a giant bait. It but is also bait. Yes. We get to her. Yeah, we'll get to it um, when we get to it, but this is a scam even for five stones because there is literally yeah, nothing like there, really there good is, in this machine. There, there is maybe one card in this machine that's worth rolling for, and it's debatable whether it even needs to be rolled for because there are other cards that do it. Yeah. I think the only card you would realistically want from this machine is uh, a bundle, and yeah. you don't even need to buy the bundle now because... Assuming we follow trend with JP, I know I say this in comparison to JP a lot, but assuming we follow trend with JP, Japan got a Godfest when Gokrex and Goten and I can't remember the white GFE's name, but when those three came out, they had a 10 stone GFE that included all of the best cards from Valentine's and their bundles purchasable with that machine. So if you don't good. even want to buy Thulia now, you can wait until that machine and buy Thulia then. And then unless Gunko cucks us and doesn't give it to us. Yeah. Now I'm going to be honest. I'm going to buy both. I'm going to buy this bundle and the next one. And technically speaking, if you want to use that awful Lisette system, you can buy the Lisette from this and then buy the Lisette bundle when that GFB, when that Godfest comes around. And then you technically have two of the three system and you can lead pair the third. So... Uh, do with that. Yeah, with I still really not worth don't it. know if we said is worth a purchase. But it's not. But yeah, we'll we'll get to it when we get to her. I do think she has one equip that's really strong and maybe unreplaceable, but we'll get to her when we get to her. So uh, what we call this bait is because you can trade in fifteen of these for Noah. However, Noah isn't a one-off thing like New Year's but not to me. This no. uh, this is weirdly worded, but it's a three-turn system. So you need at least two of these if you're pairing with this. It's not a bad lead, but and ideally you want three of these. So you want yeah. three realistically because most of the times that this card gets used, it doesn't get used as a lead. It gets used as subs, similar yeah. to the way New Year's Nordis was. So, yeah. And uh, you know what the funny thing is? No one has Valentine's cards because I sold them all or we sold them all. Like only yeah. only the very smart people like uh, is that a guy by Joe Mama Gaming? He, he kept yeah, all I, those Valentine's I dupes. Lots. I, I kept plenty more than enough to trade for a few of these. But... And for me, for me, who doesn't spend stones on box space, I sold that shit immediately. So I could have traded for this if I didn't sell it. So, eh, that probably don't sell Rem Rolls. <laughs> yeah, but no, this is a scam. I'm not getting a, a single one of these because I'm not getting three of these. Do we want to just look at the two equips that are tradable? Uh, like the two rainbow coin equips like before we do the review just get it over with quick sure might as well yeah, there's only like three farmables so. no, neither of them are like is this worth for aki havers absolutely not there is nothing good for aki in this no machine. not a single thing the it's only good. things that are good in this machine are things that are good for future cards that we don't have yet 
Yeah, no, Luna's whatever. Uh, so this is a free equip. Okay, this as far as a free farmable. This pretty good. Goes, yeah, is actually really solid. Yeah, full um, poison. Single team HP. The the equip active is not even that bad either. Like making poisons is kind of meh, but the having damage and free combos for a turn is it's not terrible. Uh, Vino is oh, not is. an upgrade to Aki. Vinoa Absolutely is not, not an upgrade to Aki. Aki um, is crazy. It's, it's not that much worse than Aki. Uh, we'll get to it when we get to her, but we're missing a card in NA that makes her probably one of the best cards in JP. Uh, we don't have Scarlet Witch from Marvel. If we had it, she would be probably top of S tier. One of the best, if not the best, system in the game. But without Scarlet Witch, she's not as good for endgame. She's still great for farming, but she's not as good for endgame. But we'll, we'll get to that when we get to her. Sorry. Oh, for this, this active. You know, unable to skills, use skills for one turn? That's basically not even there, because it just uses as your last skill. So, it's pretty... Yeah, I mean, you, don't, you would never irrelevant. realistically want to actually use that active skill. But yeah. if it did overcharge, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It's, it's a great free-to-play equip. All right, yeah, right. it's a great free to play equip. Yeah, and it's then the other bad, one dude. is the chocolate mousse. You yeah. get killers for this. This equip shit. is a little worse, but that specific that's like ranking equip yeah. type shit right there. Mm -hmm. You want damage? You got damage for these random spawns. Yeah, hey man, this is my oh, wait, it doesn't even have the enhanced killers, so it's not even good for the random like rainbow fatty. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, true, one. damn, that's true, <laughs> damn, but it's free, so get it. Or, or don't, but you don't have to, but it might as well yeah, get it. Yeah, I mean, don't yeah. if you don't want to, I guess. I mean, we always say if it's free, just get it, because you can. Yeah. Uh, Actually, one assist void laden for the, one the is pretty good. The assist and the DDC laden for one That's is pretty good. not yeah. horrible. Those are decent traits, Like, you need to, need to actively, like, farm Colosseums or uh, AUN1 to get these. Yeah. So, pretty worth. Yeah. If there was an HP plus latent too, that'd be great, but it doesn't, so whatever. It is not, yeah. Dragon not. Killer is a scam, unless it's... Is it bronze? No, it's gold! It's gold! It's gold. <laughs> that's a scam. Yeah, that that's is like, what, four-fifths of a, of, a yeah. of a rainbow? That's awful. Awful. Probably gone mass and that guy, you never spend it on these. But anyways, yeah, talk about tears. Tomatoes, easy. So, uh, if you can notice, the bottom is not F, it is P for penis tier. Wink, wink, and we'll get there when we get there. But yeah. basically, we're going from... Uh, there there may or may not be literal Pantheon cards in this machine. May or may not, he says. But uh, as usual, left to right, strongest to weakest. No, oh, strongest to weakest from left to right. There we go. All right, F tier. So usually I'd put things like at least C or D tier because they're uh, technically fodder for an exchange. But since this exchange is like literally a scam... I'm just gonna leave it in F tier, probably. I, or say, I don't think the I don't think the exchange is a scam, but uh, I do think the amount that it requires you to roll this machine to have the effective number of Vinoa is a scam. Yes. Vinoa and, herself is not a scam. The the requirements to get her are a scam. Yeah. Like. Yeah. The, the and, uh, value. Dina propaganda. You know, the Dina propaganda. That's some pretty based propaganda. She's by the good. way, check out Joe Mama's videos linked in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. He uses Dina. That's crazy. That's true. Also, uh, Kaiba, do you want to join? We can. Yeah. Let's take more time, but uh, it's fine. You want to hop in? I mean, we're probably gonna speed run most of these cards. If yeah. we're gonna put cards in F, even if they're, cause we'll we'll preempt it this way now. There technically should be no cards in F just because everything is fodder for Vinoa. But we're gonna put cards in F even if they are fodder because goddamn, <laughs> some of these cards it's a are scam. really bad. Even, <laughs> even if they are like fodder for Vinoa, they are like like irredeemably terrible. Yeah. Oh, so bad. All right, uh, next is D tier. Basically anything that hits borderline fodder. Oh, you'll use it once in like ever. Oh, but by the way, these are named after chocolates. I don't know what C and A are, because they're Canadian, I think. Okay, C is not Canadian. You're just too young to know what Charleston Chew is, man. He doesn't know what a Charleston Chew is? What is a Charleston Chew? Char he also doesn't know what an Aero bar is. What is an Aero? Maybe that's a Canadian-only chocolate bar? I was unaware of that, but man, you're yeah, missing out. Not having... Really? Dude, you're missing out. Mint Aero is like one of the best chocolate bars there is. If you guys don't have that shit, that's sad. Well, at least not on the West Coast. 
He knows not on the East Coast either, Mr. so... He knows what the Mr. Beast D's Nuts chocolates are, but he doesn't know what the Charleston Chew or Arrow Bar is. I'm a professional Zoomer, if that you know what I'm saying. such a fucking Zoomer, it's crazy. <laughs> Skibbity Toilet Fritz, you know? <laughs> Phantom Tax. Oh uh, yeah. Alright, uh, but C is anything mid, or... Eh, pretty much anything that's about five like, stones worth. D, D is, like, pretty awful, but it has extremely niche use. C is, like usable but usually there's a better option in its place b is anything like that that's worth five stones like okay it's good but yeah, b, b is one or two you're not losing value by spending five stones. Exactly. And is anything good that you're you're crazy you actually got something good in this machine and s yeah. is like the debatable chase like really debatable chase or you just get up guaranteed with a bundle or exchange and please note that unlike before there is no ss tier because there are no ss tiers in which is crazy so. But Hunter uh, Hunter's not, coming up, not, so... Not crazy. Yeah, don't worry. We'll be getting Hunter yeah. Hunter and Miku pretty soon, and that both of those machines are pretty much exclusively SS tier cards. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to those eventually, but... Uh, this guy... Uh, see those. This guy's been dishing SSs like crazy. I gotta, I gotta hold him back now. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you're gatekeeping <laughs> yeah. me, bro. All right. All right, let's, let's start. What is the bottom card? Uh, I have to use first, the monster search. First with... card is Haku. Uh, almost have to specify V Haku because there's so many random non Valentine's cards in this machine. Thanks for the lag, Monster Search. Typing. Oh my god. I type in a key. Optimal, what an optimal box searching system this is. Amazing. So Thanks, so Gumbo. Uh, yes. Perfect. Search 10,000 cards every That's Christmas, Haku. Fuck. <laughs> I can't see this shit. You want the box number? Yeah, box number, please. Thank you. 4215. 15. There's like half a second of lag after I type, which makes it harder yeah, to actually like, type. Yeah, it delays when you type. Dude, try try doing this on an Android where you have the swipe text, and you swipe text, and then it <laughs> types the wrong word and lags for like a split second when you type the word. So you have to backspace it, and then it lags that, and then you swipe text, and it lags again. Yes, hilarious. Oh, oh, oh thanks, Gungo. Know. Thanks, Gungo. You know what's as bad, if not worse, than the Gungo monster search? Discard. What? That's crazy! This card, as bad if not worse than the Gun Home Monster Search. A tricolor, which. Search until you hit the enter button. Lead skill with no HP or RCV multi. That's active crazy. That actively does nothing. Like, <laughs> That's crazy. Does nothing when you use it. You know, a pure tricolor is good because it's fast for ranking. Awakenings but this is slow! Like they... Dude, awakenings that look like they belong onto the quip. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at the equip. The equip is also not good. All right, you know where this is? F, straight to F. F straight tier. to hey, F. Hey, listen, it's D tier because it's V Noah fodder, Capital. No, straight to F. I disagree. Yeah, it actually, is F tier. This card F. The equip has actively terrible. HP. Who cares? So true. Right, I can run this on a Coliseum team because it's a special one. True, true, of yeah, course. True, S tier, actually. straight to S. Amazing. Best right. card I've ever seen. Next. Bro. Next, who's next? Uh, next is Sakuya. Oh, by the way, I like how these seasonals, by like I mean hate, look, it's every seasonal! Those bastards! Yippee! Those Thank lazy you, bums! Alright, where, where is... I don't even know, I have want, to use the box numbers. Want box numbers, bro? Box you numbers, please. 4213. 4213, thank you. Alright, Kieran. Wait, do I have Super Wings on? I accidentally turned it off from some tap somewhere. Oh, don't worry. Thanks, the, Gung Ho. The, this card Thanks, is Gung literally Ho. just the same as the previous one, but also equally terrible. Oh, no. It has two equips. And that is... Well, yeah, but I mean, this, this form specifically is oh, the this same form. Yes. and it's equally terrible. Yes. Crap. Let's move on. Guess what? The Evo? Crap. Crap. The Evo? Same thing. Slightly Still better. Awful. Crap. Still doesn't have a leader skill, by the way. Crap. All right, uh, now yeah, let's okay. look at the good things, the equips. So this is the equip. It's almost full OE, I, I which is think it's okay. It's, it's like borderline passable. See, the thing is, we got Starling, which is the free equip with uh, two of each OE. Which so this lowers the, the value. Thing. So this yeah, lowers the value of this. Three does not require you to roll this awful machine. Yeah, but now I will say, the second equip for this card, the 8376 equip. I actually think this equip is good. Is it? And I have Why? used this equip before. Okay, Why? there are no other 4OE 
L equips in the game. But L and equip I know is that, trash. I know that L on equip is useless, but for farming purposes, it is actually good. Name one farming purpose. I have used this on a Shiba Dragon farm team before. Because you need the L to make it unlock on a specific Right, floor. I remember seeing and that on this GT team somewhere. Get maybe. the OEs, yes. I have used this on a Shiva Dragon team. I've also used this on a Nordis team. It is, for farming utility, very, very, very niche farming utility alone, this equip is actually unreplaceable, which is crazy. I disagree. There is definitely... No. There, there are is three no Shiva Dragons. Game that has this much OE and an L. How about some no high wind? The game that does this. How about a high wind? How about splitting up the OE? It doesn't have an L. It doesn't have an it L. It doesn't need an L. You put high wind on well, something and have an L you're, somewhere you're else. You're playing Shiba Dragon. You don't have space for that many random equips. You need to take like auto heals and shit. You're putting auto heals on Shiba? Uh, all right. Oh, no, they're on D tier by definition. It's once in a lifetime. Sure. I was going to say, uh, I was just trying to save this card specifically from F tier. I think this card alone, a, a bit, one of these yeah. low rarity ones, deserves to not be F tier. Yes, that is It has good. two equips that are both like almost redeemable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, next up is... Maybe. Uh, Maybe. I can't, I can't, find, I can't find these fuckers. They're all next. Oh, look. Trash. Garbage. Look, all garbage. Wow, it's the same as the previous one. It's terrible. However, Unlike Sakuya, it doesn't have multiple forms and multiple equips. However, it's green, which therefore makes it worse than dark. Look at that. It's an, it's an L, but this one only has three OEs. Gross. So it's forty percent poison. Let's go. I needed forty wow, percent. I love living in twenty eighteen. That's crazy. That's crazy. Next. Uh, Let next me guess. Ten. Forty two ten. No eleven. That's 11. crazy. Oh okay. So Leyland's forty two ten. You're not dropping by two numbers. You're I only see. dropping by one. Uh, oh, base form of this. Oh also wow, here. that's crazy. Jammer resist. That's even less relevant. All right. This is, uh... Uh, yeah, terrible. Just give me one second. However, it's blue, so that is better than green, but not better than dark. Have any thoughts? Sorry about that. Um, yeah, also terrible. It is blue, um, therefore makes it better than green. Not by a long shot. <laughs> uh, next is Leyland. Leyland, okay. 4210. 40, that's 4210. Yes. Oh, wow, I can't believe Shocker. it! It's horrible. Blind Shocker. is the most relevant, so... And yeah, red is better, so I'm putting that on yeah, top yeah. of F. There you go. What there a, you go. What an epic win for Leyland. Oh, you want to know what the next card is? What is that? <clears throat> uh, GFE Nay. GFE Nay? That's crazy! Wow. Do we want to review every form of Nay? No. <laughs> Let's just talk about like it. Like 13 of them. Let's just talk about it, and then, and then uh, they're all this different colors anyway. Slap actually. it in the GFE tier, move on. So we yeah. are not, we don't rank GFEs or anything non-seasonal because they're available otherwise, and that, that makes it like, what's the word, fluid? <laughs> so, uh, not really rankable. It does have higher value than everything else, though. Mostly everything Also, else. by the way, I forgot to mention, Kai, but if you have, like, differentiating opinions from artists, please share. Please share. But, uh... Yeah, I will say that Nay has, on what, two, three, four, five equips, all of which do see occasional use. Exactly so, the same, so they're all good. Yeah, they're all and exactly the same, just for a different color. Let's so go over them, but, need, like, just, like, three of them. Just forms. show one. Yeah. Just show one. They're all the same equip. It doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, the base is trash. Don't use it. Probably not trash, but... Enough. Super is. raining again. Thanks, I thanks, tried Gohan. to use it once. It was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it is trash. Yeah, there's horrible. really no reason to use it. Okay, um, now we look at the fire, but show, we pretend it's show, all the other colors. Yeah, the, the fire is every color. They're all the same color, yeah. just with the, with the color change. So this is funny, because you can technically system 7x6 with two of these, <laughs> but I don't think no one's going to use that it. That is true. Because you have yeah. to... And it does. It, you look at, at first glance, it's just like, oh, Clara gets it is okay, but the, No, the it doesn't clear a Woken behind. Yeah, the actual evos of this don't matter. The only thing that actually matters is the equips. The equips, because... Okay, look at this shit. This is, shit is crazy. Double skill boost. Uh, recover mines, whatever, but... Triple row, two OEs of each of their respective colors, and a single heal OE. This is crazy. Yeah, all you do is replace the row with whatever color the equip is, and replace the OEs with whatever two colors the base form of that equip is. Exactly. But they're all dark, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got the H yeah, so it's just blue, dark, green, dark, light, dark, dark, dark. Great on Aki teams, because like blue row will go crazy. Light is also good. 
the yeah. light one is fine on Aki teams or Misaka teams as well. Yeah. I used the light one on Misaka teams a couple times. And the active is actually playable too because it's a cleric and a delay. Um, Just be good. Uh, I think the well, yeah, this is a one, full cleric. I think it's the dark one that gets used on the Goten teams a tiny, tiny bit. But yeah, yeah, it is super fucking irrelevant. And if you get a GFE, it's a GFE. Who cares? Honestly, it's better value than half of this machine, even if the card's not that relevant anymore. Yep. All right, but uh, otherwise, right, they're is, good. You yeah, you win. Is, if, you, if you roll this, you win. Uh, next is Lee, 9705. God forbid you ever try to type that <laughs> into the monster search. That'll search up half the cards in the fucking game. Like searching EA? Yeah, <laughs> next. Yeah, I like searching EA. At least you can search core, and that brings up like a couple of cards Dude, but... this is absolutely the worst leader swap option this is this is the greatest letdown in this machine because this card could be good but it yes. is not okay base form five like spike for dragon and absolutely no effective skill boost horrid none two on the base you know horrid with the bait okay with a 20 turn transform so which is yeah something so well i told his dog earlier but this this is the worst buff ever because this thing did not need damage. They gave it a da damage cap break and some more crosses. This shit did not need more damage. You know what it needs? Hey, uh, Utility. Hey, man, we get to make a joke that we make every episode. Mom, can we have Crollo? We, we have Crollo at home. home. That's but crazy. But Crollo is paralyzed. <laughs> That's bed. crazy. Like, like, absolutely terrible. Like, where is the utility? You cannot justify running this. All right, uh, side topic, like, kind of related. You know, C-Tona. He requires one of each rarity. So when Pochta came out, and all the uh, new Samurai uh, uh, samurai buffs came out, their 1.7x HP, or uh, XP, not HP, XP, I was thinking, oh, I can use C-Tuna and swap. But guess what? No. All the other swappers are 8 stars. And the yep. only plat passable swapper is Fasca, which is 8 stars. So they're both 8 stars, so I can't play them on c -Tona. I don't know mm -hmm. who decided to put Pochta in 8 star, but those bastards. So Lee, Too I don't bad. think is eight star, but she's not playable. Uh, <laughs> I can't play this shit. She she is seven star, fully transformed, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's terrible. It says seven star right there. Yeah. No. No. This is seven oh, star, yeah, which makes it worse because I can't play this shit. Oh, the other one is yeah. Crawlo, but eh, it's not buffed yet. No, I'll worry about it later. Tono is well, also eight star, by the way. I so. also don't think you'd be you'd be playing that. With yeah. C so, so. No, I gave up because I, I got too mad. But <laughs> this is horrible. Uh, and then her equip. Uh, this is actually enough, playable. <laughs> uh, this equip is actually like almost playable. Yeah. The. Yeah. Hello, it, it's, it's not like amazing, but as far as I know, it is the only double team HP lead swap, right? I think that's the, the case. Yeah. Oh, the Granerves, oh, right. Granerves yeah, is, really is better. And Granerves is better than this, right? Yeah, Granerves is better. Um, it has a water sub attribute. That so doesn't matter, best really. For all situations. <laughs> Eh, not all oh, situations. Also, there's uh, the, 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 two, the two Toy Dragon Trio GFEs also have equips that do the same thing, right? Right, right. But they, they change attribute and they give you move time. Yeah. But this is... Uh, this saves it from being F tier, but it's still going to, like, D or C. What do you guys B. think? I think this is going to B. The, the equip being a lead swap and being comparable to Grenerves probably makes this good. What, B tier? Uh, no, I think C tier. Sure, you can put it like top of C. Top of C, there. yeah. Just for the equipment. Also, also, hey Shadow. Um, I I, actually, oh, I'll put this in F, F and put the equip in D. <laughs> there we go. Oh, true. Let's pull this. Oh, wait, I can't because I can't show under resources. Oh, well, I'll fix that later. True. To see it goes. Yeah. See it is. I'll, I'll fix it in the thumbnail or right now. Fish just do more work. Uh, My oh, bad. You're going to love this next one. We get the epic card Super Rebo Venus. Oh, look! My, my, my uh, tier is finally in, in play. I can, that's fine. I can search Venus and pull up. Oh, you can actually just search Venus, right? I guess it sorts it by box number anyway. A Pantheon yeah, and a Seasonal. What the P tier is for? P tier. You know, penis? Venus. Venus, Venus the penis. Yeah, Venus, penis. penis. Tier. Where is, where is Venus? Shit, I can't find her. Okay, oh, there she she's is. She's not even, like, I look, I get that there's a Pantheon in a Seasonal, but at least her ordeal is, like, okay. Now, God forbid you're rolling this, like, as a player who's played for a long time, because seeing this card is going to feel so bad if you roll it. Like, so unbelievably terrible. Truly the but, scam. 
funny enough, Shadow said, yo, totally S tier. I think the mm. funny part is the ordeal Evo is actually S tier. Like, or maybe like A tier. Like, Venus isn't but bad, but in seasonal? In a Valentine's machine? Yeah, like, at least you can use her for fodder on yeah. on V Noah, but dear God, does it feel horrible to roll this card. Yeah, like, you're rolling for Valentine's, which is already a scam, so you're not getting, even not even getting a good uh, anything Valentine's. Is Venus' equip good? Is the equip on this card good? It's whatever. The ordeal one is. It's, is good. it's like, full blind jammer. Good, it's full blind jammer. It's pretty good. Full, full blind, full poison. Yeah, but this the pantheons are just like uh, compensation Wait, rewards the... for participation awards for Super G God Fest. Yeah, so. not what you want to see. Yeah, exactly. There, this you could just get this from a God Fest, and you'd never have to see this. Like too much. So, uh, dude, fifty percent off here. Uh, next is Sheen. The, on, oh, the only saving grace of Venus is if you somehow have like thirty, you can use them for no. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's really the only... it. All right, uh, who's next? next is Sheen. Uh, forty-two oh nine. Sheen, forty-two oh nine. Yeah, now we're into the we're into the gem or the ah uh, yes, the With, gem it's a gemstone princess. They got pretty. Yeah, the they got their equips got buffed a while back. Not this one. The the real ones. The real ones did. Yeah. These ones are still awful. These are still awful. Yeah. Break VDP um, ten C. Nice. Wow. They're still what not a, yeah. What a, what a, what a combination of awakenings that is. Combination. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, with the move time too? You gotta have the move time to make the break in the VDP, it's important. True. True. Yeah. Oh, it's to stack for the buff. Oh, true. Nice, nice HP. Nice HP. D tier. D tier? Okay, no. I, Shadow, please give reasoning on that. <laughs> no. Um, the equip, also god awful, but it has a killer and OEs, so. Uh, yeah, F tier. <laughs> F tier. Yeah, F tier. Like these equi these actives used to be valuable back in like 2017. I'll give, but I'll give, I'll give Shadow a, a chance to explain himself out of that comment. But uh, we'll move on while he types that up. Well, I won't. You're gonna need you're gonna need a full on like like cited essay to convince me that this card is not F tier. For beginners with damage. Uh, no, there are way better. For beginners with damage buff, you could just hey, get regular you know, sheen. You, you, you know what's a you know what's a good beginner damage buff? Super reincarnated Freyr, which is free by the way with the tutorial team. Yeah, that's what actually true. Uh, uh, skill issue. Just use the tutorial team. True. <laughs> use but the I mean, tutorial team. It's not bad. Technically Oops. not wrong, but useful for beginners gets outclassed so quickly in this game yeah like and that's the problem getting dupes of this um, that is beyond that dear horrible also if you're new you should not even be coming close to touching this machine yes this machine should be so far out of the realm of you rolling that you would never even see she yes. you should be waiting until you should have either started a week ago and rolled demon slayer to get noichi rose or you should be waiting until hunter hunter to roll the Nefer Pitao and Merowim shit. Yeah, Hunter Hunter is Anyways, pretty good. But... Didn't mean to rip on you, Shadow. I, I agree with you to a degree that it, it is useful in air quotes for beginners. Like, uh, but it's by definition, like, it is D. But for us, but, F, like, it's no. so far from being good in the long term that it belongs in F. Yeah, by the way, like, F um, is like really bad or meme bad. Ours is a, a combination of both. <laughs> like, we're wrong. <laughs> yeah. wrong. F, is, F is for friends who do stuff together. But, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, next is next is for facet, uh, forty two oh eight. I already had it up. I'm I'm a genius. Oh, I calculated by the so numbers. I can You'll never guess what the next one's box number is. Uh, <laughs> no, that's crazy. One, okay, look. This look, one's not bad. This one's not bad. At least the awakenings on the base form aren't complete shit. Yeah. But like, once the, again, same type of. It's active still form. not good. It still has the same problems as the next one. This has yeah, triple I got like RC. Six ones, bro. I just need Nefer Pitao, which means I'm not going to see them. See, triple, the triple RCV and a physical killer escapes FD, FD and D tier, maybe. Because this is actually playable. This is cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, this equip like is bottom of C tier. Okay. Actually, I think I think that specific killer is pretty okay right now. Too. Yeah, because you, you and five, maybe even five. I, no, I don't know this what one. team's using this. I mean, maybe this finds its way onto a Muichiro team. That's the only thing I could think of. But yeah. not like yeah, it needs our team. Muichiro team's gonna use this. This is not C tier, bro. You're tweeting. All right, top of D. This is like D tier. Top this is D, D yeah. tier. It once in a probably goes whatever. To Kuya. Yeah, once in a while. Um, and next is Kara. You'll never guess what its box number is. Four two forty two. Oh yeah, truly. It's 07. 
Yeah. That's crazy. He double seven. All there right. Uh, this is the second highest is. HP card in the game. What? Highest the HP? The carrot? Card? Yeah, second highest HP in the game. Well, this is the first. Cap break. Highest HP? Yeah. Uh, it's. Shoot, what second is the first? Second to Amatsu. A monster, oh, right? It, yeah. yeah, when are we getting Monster Hunter, by the way? It's been en enough time that we should be getting Monster Hunter. True. I think Monster Hunter, the actual game, hasn't had any, like, real updates in a while, so there's nothing for them to do a rerun about yet. Those bastards. They got, they got a new they got a new game announced for the end of the year, yeah, so... Maybe hey, we'll get it by then. Hey, maybe we'll get Monster Hunter rerun when the game comes out. True. My god, that machine's gonna have so many cards in it. God help us all. Eh, um, whatever. Alright, uh, let's... Yeah, uh, this card... what they're doing. Maybe they'll do, they'll do what they're doing with Academy. Yeah, that's true. Okay, listen, this card, the the spike specifically on this card, I think is better than a lot of other ones. Because skill boost is the one you want to stack. Default, you're going to have a lot of skill boosts on your team. Except for transform, mainly but, transform teams, but you're but still going to have a lot. Everything else about this base form is just not good. And the equip it's also, also playable. not really that good. It's playable. I don't think the equip is that good. It's, it's like passable for like farming utility, but... Wait. Also uh, D tier, yeah. Yeah. Also I mean, better than the. I Kuhu? honestly think this card is worse than Sakuya. I ain't gonna lie. Worse than Sakuya? Mm, I, I can see it because I would, I would sooner use. I'd that use Sakuya more than we equip on Sakuya more than I would use any form of this. I agree. Yeah. But. Oh hey, we've escaped the gem princesses. That's um, crazy. Okay, next is next is Pono. Uh, Number sixty-nine ninety-seven. Sixty-nine, nice. Uh, sixty-nine one now. Nice. I didn't hear the rest of it. Sixty nine, sixty blanked <laughs> out. A sixty nine ninety seven. Flame knight, let's go. Okay, this was the chase like two, three years ago for the system for SR one. Ah yes, it was, Dude, it was the chase for the system, and then it was still bad. Yeah, it was like no, one, everyone chased it for the system, and it ended up still being terrible. Yeah. All right. Um. um uh, whatever. There's. It makes a row on a heal. Sure. Whatever. Cool. All right. The Actually, uh, it doesn't make. Uh, oh, it does. Right, right. It makes you a row and a heal. On transfer heal, not even, not even a heal TPA. Just a row of heal. That's what the thirty percent just... HP is for. Yeah. True. Uh, yeah. Now it's a transform as an auto heal, which is actually kind of good because, like, you know, uh, well, what do you call it? Sure. AUN two title challenge where they had a CD plus one and you couldn't use Cetona or Royal uh, Royal Nut. Well, this could have fixed that if you had one turn of healing that it added. <laughs> But now it's True. useless. It's useless. It's whatever. It does also have. It's unrelated, kind of, but it also does have a pretty good leader. Skill. Oh yeah, it, it doesn't does. have auto fua, which is awful. Uh, that was means you have to find like a non. Uh, what's what's the word? Uh, like, uh, 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 what's something. The word for a weed that a asynchronous, an asynchronous, asynchronous error that, yeah. does not, that does not. That that isn't this. You know what the uh, original Asim lead was? These as your leads as a system. You know what the original Asim was lead was? What? Araragi. It was Araragi. Yes. Yeah, that has a single Fua, so <laughs> that's pretty funny. Auto Fua. It does. Um, nowadays, this is I, kind this of card, not playable. This card is just not good. It, it's been it's been outclassed too much. It has the awakenings to make manual vdps and does not make you enough orbs for a manual vdp which is no you need 12 the stupidest shit I've ever you seen. need 12 yeah, to make on 12 to make a vdp yes you can't put fujin lane on it but no way to be generating enough dark orbs if three of the cards on your team are consumed by this yeah, it's you just can, not yeah. possible you can put fujin lane on it but that's also scuffed <laughs> because once again yeah. orb, orb control issue it's awful yeah, orb generation issue. Yep. You could, in theory, lead Maris from this machine and another card to swap this into your lead spot and attempt to play this on 7x6. That might almost be good enough. Almost. But that's going to be Scuff. so slow. It's going to be so slow and so bad. I mean, you can run, but like, yeah. Mikage and then manually pull out Darks too, but that's also Scuff. Yeah. Overall, it's yeah, but then hard. you're using Mikage, then you literally have two slots left on your team to cover every mechanic in the given dungeon. Exactly. Awful. For it. All right, I uh, have equip. something to say in defense of the card. Oh, sure. Go for it. Oh, hear it. Let's hear it. It has a 7 billion damage cap for two turns. So that means mm -hmm. as long as you have the system going, you have two of them with 7 billion damage. Y you know uh, what? It only has no. one attribute. Okay. Yeah, but. Okay, but you know what? You know what has and six billion? Yeah. One more damage dealer with uh, two double damage caps or another 7 billion cap True. to uh, one-shot most spawns in 
the late game dungeons nowadays. Yeah, but you realize I can just put a triple damage gap lane on any other like null attribute, like Gojo, my favorite card. Yeah, Gojo, he can do six million forever. Yeah, Anyways, the equip. Anyways, good equip. Also has a hilariously high amount of HP. Yep, good equip because it's a null attribute, so it always stat transfers. To answer the question Ooh. from the previous uh, Demon Slayer video. Yeah. Yep. Stat um, transfer. It has a team HP. It's got a team RCV. It's got a combo warp. It's fine. Good I equip. have actually unironically used this equip on a common rider Black Sun team. Interesting. Uh, not. It wasn't good. I didn't end up keeping it on the team for very long, but it was there. Yeah. Oh, this is a good equip for whatever reasons, but yeah. Yeah. This equip is like. Or this card is like. Tier, this would probably. be seer, but I think this equipment makes it B. What do you think? Or top of C? Because uh, Lee I is kind like of... Top of C. I, uh, I like it more than Lee. I don't um, think Lee is C. I don't think C. this card deserves B tier. Like, I don't think you're going to use this card like, That's true. very often. I mean, what to be fair... What teams are you using? Like, if you roll this, dupes of this isn't bad because you can system it, which is... No. Uh, no, you can't. What are you running that in? Like, there's nothing to run it in. It's too awful for any good sure like, dungeon one. worth farming. Sure one. True. Easy. So true. I, I mean, I'm just thinking about the, the three-turn cooldown auto heal. That is one of the only cards with the three-turn auto... Uh, something like that. Auto heal. Does Denji not do that? Does who now? And is Denji not also horrible and better than this? Yeah, but you could run this while you can't run Denji, because Denji leads so often. Like, I'm saying, if there was another, like... Uh, skill CD plus one, and uh, there's another leader with like auto heal based. No, never mind. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. It's three plus becomes four. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. I'm trolling. Back at C tier. C tier. Yeah. All right. Ramen can't count. Part uh, sixty nine. Oh my god, an actually good card. Next is Maris. One zero nine three five. Where's the original even from? Is it the jellyfish from Sin Dragons? I think. No, it's the fairy. Oh, the fair. I see. I didn't. I don't ring fairy. this. Oh, that's oh, yeah, no. no, that's the other. The, that's sex yeah. All right, this one. The actually only good card that's worth, quote unquote, worth Rolling chasing for. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, this is like um, only if you ha like barely have enough, like almost have enough for three Noah traits, <laughs> and you just, just like want to get for nerves. That's like the only justified reason to roll this or something. Yeah, this card is horrible. Like to roll for. Yeah. Like it's good, but it's really not worth chasing. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, artist buffs are here, so 7x6 fodders are actually worth noting again. They're here in JP, they're not here in NA. Oh, not in NA. We gotta, we gotta ways until we get them in NA. Yeah, so uh, basically, the the two real ones, Atelier and uh, Kaishu. Atelier got 80% shield, and Kaishu, no shield buff, but it's down two turns cooldown. Card is, I think this card is A tier. It's down to two turns. It is down to two turns, which is pretty funny, but no shield buff! Ah! Also completely irrelevant to this review. Exactly. Yeah, um, well, except 7x6 uh, is worth something. So. Yeah, this card is uh, probably A tier, I think. Oh, but yeah. we'll go over the forms first. Uh, so it's a five turn cleric, which is an acceptable number to be. Uh, lock removal, days, too. I guess. Yeah, uh, it's got four L's, which is very good, and it can potentially have. L assist boys. Yeah, so it can take the L assist void clear, or, or skill if boost. you really want to, it can take the skill boost latent, because it has the L shield as well. Good um, options. This yeah. is this is presently the premier 7x6 lead for Goten, which is like probably the best lead in JP. Um, it's also not the best, but it's in contention for the best cleric for Neferpito teams and Maryland teams which are also in contention for the best lead in JP. Um, Goten's a GFE. Goten's a GFE. Upcoming. He comes with, uh, there's three GFEs. Uh, one of them is Gokrex, which is going to be the final boss for UN6. Oh, yeah. Also want to add on, for Kurtobi, this is actually playable somewhat over Vion, because Vion is good for full board change. This can actually work, too. Because Kurt Toby makes four of each, that's twelve orbs. This is not three of each. Twelve plus nine is somewhere close to something like not dying to a full poison board. So that's correct. Yeah, yeah. it won't save you from Yang Buffet, but <laughs> he also something. has uh, absurdly high RCV, which is really good when she has heal Elise on top of it. Yes. 
Um, yeah, this card is is really solid. Seven by um, six also good for Kaishu because Kaishu also leaves waters. So, yeah, yeah whatever. now, uh, this card is is maybe not S tier. No, I don't think it's S tier because the its, its use cases are usually replaceable by something else. I just don't think uh it's like that good also i don't think it's equips are that good yeah the equips are not as cash money as i want them to be so they're not it's not as this equips not horrible but it's not like great like fortune delay is many, eh. there aren't that many double team hp helo we equips if i remember correctly and there's but... mermaid mermaid is pretty much the only one rcb here. awakened yeah, this has RCV on it too. There are a lot of that. Never mind. Like literally every single one of Cotton's equips does that. Yeah, nice. Mind. But I mean, this one does come with a four-turn delay strapped onto it, which is. Good. But a lot of dungeons have status shield on first floor one, which is annoying. Because now the other problem is this doesn't have a skill boost. Yeah. Which is becoming a real consideration now when you're building teams, because a lot of teams are like super strapped to hit 32 and shit like that. Yeah. Thanks, Gung Ho, for raising all the skills to like 30. Yeah, really cool, Gung Ho, thank you. Yeah, we want to like Sindrang. Isn't Goten like 35? In I the have no idea, but it's kind of long. Remember when Sindragon really came out and then Gillian SR2 and we were stalling like 20 turns on the floor one of SR2? Thanks, Gung Ho. Dear God, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gung Ho. That. that was tough, bro. Uh, right, uh, next equip. Uh, the next equip is. Uh, it's just uh, not bad, but it's not too double good. Double skill boost with some OE is, like, okay. I wish this equip had the four-turn delay active. Yeah. Th that like, would bruh, be... This equip would be so strong if it had be the four-turn like, delay what, active. It'd be, like, what's his name? Kyoko level? A pot of green, man? There's no team issue. Yeah. And... By the way, I didn't get Kyoko or Muichiro. Bastards. It's because I rated them too low. I got Kyoko's, but I did not get Muichiro's, despite spending 1,400 stones on that machine, so... Rip. We do, we get literally trolled, I guess. I'm no longer meta. I don't have the meta lead. It's over. Yeah. All right, man. It's meta all over. Placement, A tier. Yeah, A tier. Kappa, you agree? Sure. All sure. right. What is next? Uh, Next is... Noctaria. Valentine's Noctaria. Real one or the fake one? Valentine's. 97. Uh, Valentine's. See, I got this for my free roll and I was dancing for joy. No, no, this card is good. I finally made it a spinner loop. So this is... No, it was a spinner turn. loop before. It was a spinner loop before, because the old Nocturia was also a spinner loop, but you're talking about, like, GFE Nocturia, which wasn't a spinner loop. Because I remember rolling, trying to roll for this, because it was a spinner loop for Atelier. Right, Kaiba? Do you remember something like that, or...? What did they change? They gave it more damage, and it added a Fujin on a one-turn delay skill. Wasn't that already there? No, it wasn't. No. Uh, what's Goten's number? Uh, Dark Rite, you're gonna have to pull that up, because I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Talk about Noctaria for a second. Alright, so, this is a great card for the Atelier if you don't have Rothman Kitty. This is probably, like, second best. Because Atelier is getting buffed! <laughs> we mentioned it earlier. But, yeah, a three-turn spinner loop. For initially, you get a 7x6, and then, which is good if there's, like, an early board size change preempt. And then after that, you get a one-turn delay Fujin, which is pretty funny. I wish it was two turns, though, but eh, beggars can't be chooser. This is pretty unique. I can see this used on Atelier if there's some like, weird Fujin you need over Rafne Kitty. Why would you ever use this on Atelier over, like, any of the other Fujin. Fujin loops? The, the single Fujin. Like, if you already have a Fujin loop or something, it is good. Uh, I guess. Like, that's, condensed... like, the only reason. They condensed the 10 Cs and added two skill boosts. Yeah. All six SB is pretty pretty relevant for Atelier too. And added the all stats. Yeah. All stats that's not doing shit. <laughs> VDB <It laughs> could KW. theoretically. I mean I've seen a lot of things use all stats. But... No, no please. Yeah, uh, real. <laughs> please god no. Leader skill is funny, but no. More HP? Is this like a rip off C Tona that all stats with rarities are different? <laughs> Yeah, no. no, we're not playing this. Uh, the leader game. skill is not great. No, it also is a uh, full HP, no shield. So yep, looks like uh, the equips. equips. First Dear one. God, what is this first? Uh -huh. equip? What uh -huh. the actual fuck is this equip? Uh, fellow time wizard enjoyer in the last last weeks, th this this is for you. Yeah, this is for my fellow time. You get my, a... my fellow time wizard enjoyers. Yeah. Yep. I don't know who else is enjoying this equip. No. Uh, let's the... skip. 
<laughs> there aren't that many VDP Hilo E equips, but there are enough that this is still the worst one. <laughs> kind of. So, I mean, it is Hilo E, but it's. Uh, no, it's still the worst one. Every other one has something besides three finger awakenings. To be fair, you need it for aggregate. That actually the makes it ones, slightly better. The other ones are not actively fingering you. That's crazy. Um, no, the aggregate equip, needs fingers. But this second equip is actually kind of okay. No. It's actually kind of okay. Yeah. I think it does need fingers, so that's like the only reason it's playable, or uh, right. otherwise. But this one's actually Please nice don't one. Please okay. speak about this card on an aggregate team ever again, bro. What the hell? Fingers on aggregate, bro. You need the It, it is worth mentioning, bro. This is the only Hilo E double 7 C equip in the entire game. Is there any intensity deal with? Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, uh, that's dark, bro, too, so. Eh, it's okay. Uh, yeah, oh, yes, there are. But guess what? One of them's from Marvel and one of them's a Miku card. So... That's crazy. Uh... Yeah, the, also, the Miku one, way better than this card. Oh, way yeah. better. The Miku one, full 21 turn cooldown, two turn 100% shield, 10 crazy. C, super blue OE, super green OE, and a heal OE. Muichiro Enjoyers? Literally, Muichiro Enjoyers, yes. Uh, this, this card, card is A tier. infinitely worse than that Miku card in every way. Yeah. A tier. But... A tier? Yes. The, uh, for Atelier? Oh. For Atelier? Oh. It's a spinner loop. That is some turbo cope. You're I've coping. Seen, like, <laughs> I've seen like 30 Atelier team videos since that card got re like, rebuffed. I have not seen one of them use this card. They all use the blue girl from Dengeki. Who's, oh, Miyuki. Right, this isn't a fast. Miyuki. There is literally no reason But this to is more utility. Card with a more fast. utility than Ravnik. I would, I would literally rather use the Angel Devil over this. Angel Devil? You just want to play fast, huh? Why would you not do it? Your team is already slow enough without a fast spinner. That's true. Bro, non-fast spinner loops are... Utility. You, my utility. Absolutely based. Kai was so right. Absolutely based. This is one this of the other is, options. Though. Dude, this card is B tier, and that's pushing it. Fine, I very well. This card realistically well. belongs at D tier. I disagree, but, but very well. B tier it is. We'll split the middle. I think this card belongs in C and you think A. Split the middle, put it in B. Very well. All right. That's being generous. B for base. I spent base. a couple of days using fast, fast spinners. Now I don't like the regular spinners. <laughs> Literally. They're, no, I, I hate regular spinners now. God forbid, AUN5 has that one floor that creates you slow spinners. Oh, hell that no. That shit makes me want to smash my head through a glass window. <laughs> Three I hate second that. spinners. So <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, right. Heinous. What is next? Uh, next is regular Noctaria. Ah, the real one. Yeah, real Noctaria, not the fake happy lovey Noctaria. So we were I talking about earlier. This the uh, Evo is the one that was doesn't have a spinner. It's With two one now. one will last ring for one turn on the two turns cooldown. Cool. For the yep. button base. Button yeah, the, the Evo, the Evo Noctaria is like unironically not bad. Oh, look at the base first. Ha uh, no, still no skill boost. Halves damage. Wow, that, that's definitely gonna Full save me. Full blind in base. Wow, gung ho, you're so generous. That was the buff. That's crazy. Uh, that, that doesn't. That changes everything. Sure, leaders, give me a. everything. The best card in the game now. Yeah. A U N six full blind preempt on the first floor. Floor. Yeah, easy. So <laughs> true. Easy. We said the same thing, by the way. <laughs> But whatever. Yeah, uh, <laughs> nice. whatever. You can take a quick peek at the equips on this card, I guess. Uh, transform want. first. Uh, rough the, actual, at home. the actual Evo of this card that got buffed is an unironically okay card. It's okay, but like the it negative has, like, skill a really was... wasted awakening on that VDP, but the active is a spinner. And not a good one, but it is. Um, it's, yeah. it's, I guess, a causable. I but... would not use it. But yeah, no good. Anyways, yeah, the equips, the Crescent Scepter. Hello, YouTube, is... back to YouTube. And Shadow says meta lead. This is not a meta lead, sir. This is not. This is think, not past twenty. He, was, he, he he sent that message when we were looking at V. Ah, not not at this one. Okay. But um, this Check one equip. first equip. Uh, fine. It's fine. It turns your card Devil, and it has like decent awakenings. It's got the Super L. Devil's good for a combo. A waste. I think the rest of what this equip offers is just there's there's. I see. Oh, that was for GFE knock. Oh, he was joking. Okay, uh, I see. Okay. Very good. Very good. <laughs> good for a combo. Um, it was double change. Yeah, and then the other one, the the kid, the, the other one is like. 
fine, but the active skill on it is so Doo -doo. horrible. Uh, Doodoo. I mean, it's a it's looping. So it's technically looping if you put it, it on a one turn. On a one turn, cool, on a one turn cooldown card, it is a looping move time. But why would you use this? And spike. But why would you use this? There's like a million other options. This was a shield loop. Would be great. But... Double double team HP with the the at boost is fine. So, so here we here we are, guys. You get three like color, but the damage is only for dark. True. All right, Actually, even. this so is a true. counterpart to Meredith, but they didn't commit and give it the third HP. That's that was faster. If you if you would have commented on this about three months ago, this would have been competing with like maybe one other card in the game, but it is now competing with like five other cards that do the same double team HP and three at booster, and this one is literally worse than every other option besides maybe New Year's Atten. Hmm. All right, let's look at this. In the Evo. Eh, it's whatever. You still need two of the loop this shit, which is crazy, because this is not a good crazy. card to have two of. <laughs> this card goes in GFE tier. Hey, shocker. you Hey, you want a Fujin? No. Get it once. No, I Only don't. once. Yeah. <laughs> Only once. <laughs> once. At the start of the dungeon, get punished. Yes. yes. No, you save it till you get the Fujin. Easy. True. Anyways, um, GFP tier. We're, we're not gonna, tier, <laughs> we're not gonna and then the next, bother rating. And then the next card is, uh, it's a really good button, though. Yeah, oh, true. I mean, it's 18 turns, is, uh, though. You really want to hold a button on 18 turns? That's kind of scuffed. And we got six skill boosts. True. Eh, whatever. What's uh, next? The next card is uh, Beastrea, uh, 8360, box number. I should not spell Astrea. I cannot spell. What'd you say the number was? 8360. 8360. This was uh, the OG orb skin, or the second one, I don't remember, but it uh, can't buy VDP it. VDP brick! VDP brick! Oh, yeah, the strongest card in the game. They, you know, I like how they, they didn't even give it more brick, they doubled down on the VDP half of this card <laughs> and made them super VDPs. And the active That's doesn't so generate hard. enough. <laughs> That's crazy! The active doesn't generate shit, bro. Uh, there's this funny the card. The only thing that's okay about this card is it's like a pseudo unmatchable clear. Pseudo, yeah. Uh, yeah, I see no reason to use this. <laughs> All right, let's look at the leader skills trashed. Okay, equips first one. Eh, it's not bad. Fine. It's, it's just like full poison, double team HP, unbindable. Cool. That's like yeah. a decently rare combination. Low cooldown, unmatchable technically. So yeah, it's whatever. Uh, yeah, and then the next one is Astraeus. I think the Astraeus chocolate is a little better. This one's better. Yeah. Unbindable, yeah. full jammers, the weakest. It one, is also another one of these like five turn Fujin actives that gets used in farming dungeons every now and then. I remember using this in Shura 3. True. But yeah, this it's equip okay. Or Astraea? This equip. Really? Yeah, because there was like a four or like a combination where you wanted five turns of Fujin or some shit. Combination. Combination? Ah, yeah. uh, B tier. Sean Paul. Yeah, that's. I'd say below Nocaria, but what do you think? B tier? B tier. Really? Bro, you're you're really overrating yeah. these cards, Oops. I think. Oh, you know what? This is probably B tier. I don't think it's high in B tier, but it is B tier. I say below Noctaria. Wow. I don't think Noctaria belongs be in this tier. But... I think belongs. The second equip used to be one of the best ones in slot for the transforming submarines. Yeah, because this is five yeah, turns true. of Fujin, which is unique. But they've fallen out of the meta. Yeah, it's not useful anymore. Uh, next is Valentine's Venus. 5117 box. Number. Ah, the real one. Yes. You mean the fake one? No, the real one. You heard me. You mean the garbage one? Yeah. <laughs> They're both I can't fake. wait. I can't wait for you to tell me and coke your way into this being good because it has dungeon boost. It has dungeon boost and therefore it's straight to S tier. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, True. dungeon boost. You, you can even use all of your Tamadras to hit the extra third dungeon boost from its seven super awakenings. Oh, that's cringe. Dude, this card has almost as many super awakenings as it does regular awakenings. <laughs> That's crazy. But uh, active is... Yeah, it's whatever. It's not trash. great. It's garbage. Leader, it's leader shield, great, eh, yeah. whatever, trash. Okay. Also garbage. If equip wanna, is what's if good. If you want to make a funny solve, you use this card. True. This equip is what's and good. And the equip is double skill boost, full poison. Which is and in single spirit. Good. Actually kind of playable, so I'd say... I don't know if I'd say kind of playable. No. This is oh, this is also uh, used to be an orb skin and no longer can be purchased. Yeah. yeah I say B tier, bottom C or top of C. What do you? Sure. I, I say this is probably top of C. Yeah, I would. I mean, I know it's 
a comparison to cards that I another card that I already think is overrated, but I think Astraea's equip is better. But it, it I think they're both not that good equivalently, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. I would I would sooner find myself using the base form of this Venus than I would Astraea, I think. Uh, next is uh, Valentine's Kushinata Hime. Okay, can I buy any thoughts? 40. No, oh, not on that one. All right. Uh, 40, 4206 is the box number. 4206. Oh, lag when I'm erasing the number. Classic. God 40. forbid you have to actually type Kushinata Hime into your box. I can spell it, but <laughs> I'm typing it? No, that's a different issue. All right. Uh, uh, the Shiba uh, Dragon. Yeah, yeah, exactly what Kaiba says. Here's your Shiba Dragon pair for the Coliseum. <laughs> that's a, the that's hilarious. Form, right? Uh, I believe it is the pixel form, yeah. Really? Because you can use the base too. <laughs> it is god type. <laughs> no, it is it is the pixel form. And unless you're doing uh Nordis swiping. If you do Nordis swiping, the pixel form is your option. Okay, what is this base? It's... Wait, what? What? What's up now? The pixel form? Pixel? Yeah, the pixel pixel of this Kushinata Hime Let's look at the is, pixel. is is, is better push, if you're doing New pixels, Year's though. Pixel is for Nordis. Base is for Shiva Dragon. That's what you mean, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. But yeah, you are right. I forgot that this is four point. This is only buff to pixel cards, so you wouldn't use Nordis for this. And the pixel is just they're trash, so you're just wrong. All yeah, the pixel is awful. Okay, you're trolling. That's what it was. Yeah, apparently. It's the base. The base is what's used. The That's... base is what you use for Shiva Dragon, yeah? Yeah, 3x for guns. Right, it's god time. It's god time, but this axe is actually not bad, but like, no reason you'd use this card. Because this card's <laughs> awakenings are <laughs> kind of funny, but... No. Yeah, no, they can't. Uh, pixel form. Ignore the leader skill; it doesn't exist. Um, pixel, pixel leader skills—they aren't real. That's correct. Uh, uh, and then the equip on this card—it is two full resists and a team HP, which is uh. Wait, is this a haste? Hold up, I found it had a haste in the. Let me check my box. No, it's just no, damage it reduction. Just the damage reduction, yeah. Can't spell Kushina. I mean. Bro, are you doubting Gung Ho's awesome monster box search? Yes. Damn. See, if there's a haste, it'd be funny because it'd be a systemable 75% shield. But Gung Ho's not that nice. God, no. Ah, yes. Um, Spelling Kushima the Heat. There we go. Just do 8369. That's the. Equip? Equip, yeah. This is good. The equip is uh, actually pretty good, but I, I, I don't think you would want to use it. Act is not bad, so it could see use, but there's better it is full blind. No resistance. skill boost. My face went gung ho. Give this thing a skill boost. Drop that team RCB. Yes, please. Uh, B tier only because it's playable. Yeah, B tier for the equip, I think. Say but below, I think it might be worse below Australia. Australia. Yeah, below Australia. Yeah. Probably agree. Uh huh. All right. What is next? Uh, next is Astaroth. Astaroth. 40, 4205. Truly the troll diamond. Why am I spelling this shit? Uh, uh, counter bar shows up when you search Astaroth. Well, what a win. Alright, uh, Brick 10CL. Classic. Classic Wing Kings. Uh, epic combination. Combination. Alright, so I you want one. It's a system, right? It's a system. Alright, you want one free? full poison search, full jammer search? That way you can generate enough for a brick. True. <laughs> Easy. Actually, my, my, my aggregate system. But I don't have aggregates, but I mean I do, but if you didn't have aggregates, here's your awful aggregate system. No, what is that even generated? <laughs> it just changes it. No, you just you just take them out of the spinners and then and then convert oh, true, them on the true, next turn. True, true, true. Uh super weak. No yeah, SPM. Uh, yeah, not playable. Horrible, by the way. Horrible, horrible card. Uh, slightly equip. better. Slightly Still not good though. L on that L on super L, just making it useless. L on group. Uh, yeah, not really enough OE with the HP combos. There's a better team HP full poison resists in the game. This is a this D tier. One of the worst ones. D tier. That's D tier. I agree. Up a D probably. Um, yeah, I agree. Kaiba, do you agree? Uh, what rarity is this? Six or seven? That card? Uh, That's this cool. card, base rarity is seven, yeah. Base rarity is seven? F. Troll, troll diamond. Troll Diamond, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, true. Um, next is uh, Russia. Used to be an orb skin. I can you buy this still? You no, I don't right? think so. Valentine, where the there it is. All right, uh, the, the, the 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 metal one is the real one. These are all never fake. forget using this on my 
Beach Barbara Julie team. Me too. <laughs> Nuts. Uh, yeah, this is bad. It is hey, bad. listen, man. With two of them, it's systems fire and three fire and water orbs. Three? Not even enough. Three? Not even enough. To That's crazy. This is just Cena, but four slightly better. The, the four BDPs. Yeah, this card's horrible. Horrible. Yeah. Um, and That's then five the... combos. Mom, can I have Cena at home? No, you can't. That's crazy. You can't even have Cena at home. But this equip and is next better. Is... I don't think this equip is that good. It's. It's SP is bad active though. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad active, and the awakenings are just not that. Great. Oh, this is like good. The combination when... of these awakenings is yeah. not good. This was good when there was not many VDD equips, but nowadays it's that's eh. correct. Yeah, now there's eh. a lot, and the base form was also good when there weren't that many like move time orb generators in the game. And this was like one of the lowest cooldowns. It used to be, I think, what was it, three or four turn base, and yeah, unlocking your board turns, manually. Yeah. And unlocking your board manually with an active skill used to be something you actually wanted to do. Um, if, like, Recover Bind becomes relevant again, this might see use, but that's a big... Jesus Christ. Last time it was relevant, but sure, too. <laughs> so, I never want that to be relevant ever uh, again. D tier? So, top of D. Top of D's nuts, yeah. D's. True. All right, what's next? Um, Andromeda. Andromeda. 58. 5894 if you want the box. Too late. You just turned the fucking super awakening. Exactly, that's what I hate about this shit. I, I I press it when I'm trying to type shit. Crazy. Where the fuck is Andromeda? There she is. This is actually good back in the day because it attribute absorb on top of utility, which was crazy back then. This is yeah, like. And this was another Barbara Julie card. Yeah. Or this even is, Sena used this a little This bit. was like the card for Shura 2 or ASR 2 because it had Devil Killers. SR2 card. Yeah. Yep, Devil Killers made this card and playable. SR 2 was like attribute absorb spam everywhere, so <laughs> this was really good for it. The active skill on this card is still not unplayable. Yeah, it's like, still, if you were still going playable. back to do SR 2 for whatever reason, this would be an option. Like, for your time to roll. I don't why you would do that in 2024, but. Because. Uh, Plus points into Tamandras. I'm out of Tamandras and plus points, so I'm actually thinking of playing like, SR2. Let's yeah, SR2. <laughs> well, actually yeah. even get a Shahara Dragon, too. If you get lucky. It's one out of four, I think. True. By the way, the uh, pillars do draw are technically red rainbow peas and blue rainbow peas. True. Yeah, but uh, leader skill, trash. Eh, not actually that bad. It's full HP people get on here. The activation requirement is not good, though. Like, yeah. It's just worth seeing. Alright, uh, uh, equip. Eh, it's whatever. It's bad. It's too short to be actually good. <laughs> well, there are other things that have basically these exact same awakenings and, or awakenings, and they aren't even usable. So, besides maybe Captain Marvels, but or like uh, what is it, uh, New Year's uh, Chuan? But we're not going to talk about those. I'd say like uh, B tier above Australia. <laughs> sure. Uh, right, next, next is uh, Kuvia. Uh, Kaiba Green, or...? Yeah. Alright. Uh, next is Kuvia. 109.37 is box number. Alright, what's uh, box yes, number? Yeah. Card. What's box number again? It is 109.37. 109... 109... Oh, I thought it was like a four digit, but there you go. Uh... 7C Enjoyers? Amon Gaming? <laughs> True OG Seawolf Enjoyers? So you can use this to clear Sheep Dragon Descendant because it is a god type and a generator, which you need, so... Sheep Dragon and yours, yeah. Yeah, good luck rolling three. Yeah, good luck rolling three, though. <laughs> that is true. You, you don't want to This is also... Three. You can also theoretically use this as your Sheep Dragon swipe option for the Colosseum for Valentine's, too. That is true. It's not as good as Kushinata, but you can do it. Yeah. Uh, that's... Okay, it's whatever. Next, uh, assist. Uh, this isn't bad. Is, equip, is okay. It's not like amazing, but if you needed specifically some OE and a 7C and unbindable and to make your card red, this card is good. How many if other unbindable reds are there? Not that many. There's but, one. Yeah, there's one other one. Which is but... Lord Bow from Kingdom. Oh, right. I have that. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. So this is technically better than that, but the use case for your card having unbindable and red is I need, I know a use case. And Terry's. Yeah. And Terry's. Whenever he gets buffed. <laughs> and Terry's is a uh, regular, so cool, regular yeah. four card system and Terry's. That doesn't have <laughs> mind That really trolled me in a Call of Four, but Call of Four is cancer, so. Yeah, true. That's but true. I'm not rolling for this, so uh, it will still be cancer. I'll stick Card's with Lord Bial. Card's not good. 
Uh, top of like C? B tier, maybe. Like, yeah, maybe bottom of C. Top or of bottom C. of B. Oh, top uh, of C, sure. It's been, eh, it's been top of C. You're not, no, eh, I, I kind of like the equip a little more than I should. T bottom of B. <laughs> sure. It is playable for Sheep Dragon, uh, if you don't have a good Sheep Dragon lead. Dude, we got a banger on this next one. Next is Senri, bro. Oh, the whale Dear card. Dear God, bro. Remember when this card came out and everyone thought this was the new metal lead? No, because oh, I yes. didn't roll for it. Sneer, my favorite card. Your favorite, he says. Six skill boost. So un not even it's unbindable. Horrible. No uh, effective horrible. except for the shield, which is not how many skill boosts. How many skill boosts can they put on the base form of this card to make it good? Uh, yes. Uh, about 20. About 20? Would it even be good? Like, <laughs> two turns would you makes. Would play this if it had 20? Like, two turn changer, which doesn't even guarantee a VDB. Classic. Same as, like, right. Nautilus or <laughs> the other submarines. Ah, uh, funny. Super yeah, Fua. Her equip is really good, though. Super fool. Yep. Oh yeah, the equip is what I was like. I, I'd find it sometimes when I was filtering things. It replaced Valeria finally. Finally. Which Valeria? There's two SB full mind double team HP equips now. Oh I see. Oh yeah, this, this is a great one because you have the heal row too. I mean uh, fire row too. Two are you too. using this Kappa? Like Valeria sword, you know? The submarines. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, the I'm outdated. currently running Nautilus in AUN5. And That's it's crazy. Going wonderful. He can clear um, everything. <laughs> he can clear everything. But, uh, A tier? True, eventually he can. A tier? Sure, A tier sounds fair. Just for that equip, A tier. Yeah, that it's definitely below Mera stuff. Definitely. <laughs> this might be, you know what? This might be like top of B tier, because I don't think you can put this in the same tier as Mera. I would. Mm. You would? Okay, sure. No, I think this equip, uh, it's fine. Alright, what's okay, next? Okay, next is uh, regular GFE Akine. Oh, I can't even search Akane because I don't think it pulls it up. I have to search yeah, Draco Blade Skull Princess. 50, you, just, you can just search up 5418 box. You can't spell Did Draco. Did they both Akane? I, I don't think so. I don't Didn't they remember. put a card break on her equip? Isn't that what they did? And that might be it, but I don't. Because she got buffed uh, oh, also no, recently, no, no. too. No, they, they buffed her to make her have full blind on her awakenings, didn't they? That was like a month ago because we got all the Draco Blade buffs. Was it? Okay, I don't, so I don't know no, what they, they did just, for Valentine's. They didn't buff her any farther than that. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to look because I'm too lazy. But uh, Guard yeah. Break is actually quite interesting for Rainbow Cards because this also gives blind skill boost and unbindable, so. The other thing is, I think this is the, besides Big Bang, I think this is the longest guard break equip in the game. Yes, that should be. Because I remember has other awakenings that are actually a useful, um, unlike Big Bang. Uh, right. You can just ignore the 20% jammer and blind. I mean, uh, jammer yeah, and poison. Yeah, those don't really matter. Those don't matter. Yeah. It's a blind. Unless it? you're trying to, like, RNG some shit in the dungeon. Ah, but... uh, yes, classic. It can't, it can't, it can't hurt, you know, having 20%. <laughs> you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll, you'll... How, many, how many unbind... Skill boost guard breaks are there. I don't think there's there any other ones. There aren't any other ones besides this, are there? What is GFE and I'm putting it on top because it is the top. No, no, it's not better than that. No, it Never is, it is the only one, by the way. The only yeah. one with unbind skill boost guard break. It's not better than that, but <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, um, yeah. We can just skim over to the next forms. The, the other forms or whatever. Her Good Evo's, for Shiva like, Dragon the, the two, Descended. The base forms don't matter. The dark one is like spinner loop, but horrible because there's like two. The, one of the worst. It was like one of the OG spinner loops, but it's one of the worst ones. They they, they barely buffed this from release. Like more damage is not what it needed. I mean, I guess yeah, it needs it, but like no one's playing. Well, it needed more move time. Forehead. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then the equip is it's a double skill boost with double SDR. That's SBR, pretty good. That's pretty good. Which is okay. I actually don't know if there's any other equips in the game that. Do I don't that think so. Either. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I don't think this card is particularly that great. Uh, there are, by the way. There's, like, it's... six. Actually, funny enough, one of them is Valentine's Lee set. But, nice. Um, uh, GFA tier. We we're not going to rate this. Too yeah, fair enough. Uh, right. Next is Vinay. Vinay. A fake one. 40, 4204. Oh, you're not gonna be able to I see it. Yeah, 42. Oh. What's it got? 42. Oh. Wait, no, I, ha I just saw it. <laughs> uh, I was getting trolled. All right. Uh, VDP TPA. Seven turn cleric. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. Not great. Hey Either man, skill... remember remember using this card unironically on Kaishu? <laughs> I don't because I don't have it. <laughs> I do, and I remember doing that, and it was not good. 
Is leader skills locked to dragon? Nope, no thank you. Uh, and then the equip on this card is fucking weird. It's, it's not enough auto heals. That's, you that's love true. some auto heals out here. Oh, by but, the way, uh, team HP? That's anti auto heal because you need more auto heals. That's <laughs> true. It actually undoes your auto heal. Self PvP. So if your plan was to use this dog shit for like a zombie team, it undoes that. Yeah. <laughs> Truly genius design. This yeah, card this... got its niche taken by other cards. It did yep. long ago. Did it get its niche taken? Right. Like it hasn't been good in a long time. D tier, like below. Maybe above, uh, what's her name? Alresha? Or above or below? Yeah, probably below Alresha. This is not oh worth my the god. exchange. Oh my god, good card next. Good as, card next. As free as Thulia. Nae is, she's not worth the exchange. Next is Thulia. This should be the orb skin bundle, unless I'm getting trolled this is like the Demon orb Slayer. Skin bundle. It oh, is the orb skin bundle. bundle. And I think it's only bundle. 20 bucks too. Very poggers. Very good. This is like the only bundle worth getting, I think. Shit. Ah. Uh, what the fuck? How do I close this? There we go. 10933 if you want her box number. Oh, uh, yes. Blind and Cloud on uh, the base. It's truly Ooh. relevant. But uh, L on the base is actually. Uh, no, it's still bad because consistent. Nope. Never mind. Yeah, three, three turn delay uh, on transform, and it overwrites the shitty, like, negative skyfalls. Yeah, you really use this on, like, floor two of U and two or A U and two. Yeah, and then, oh my god, this card is broken. The only thing that could make this card better when it's transformed is if that cloud was a tape. It is yes. literally the only thing that could make this card better, for real. Tape is, like, if there's cards that assist void and then hit you with a hazard, tape is better, because yeah. you can play no, through clouds. Okay. <laughs> tape, you can't. So, so this active skill, this card is definitely, like, S tier. Yeah, definitely. You S could almost argue it into SS, but I think it is S tier. No, it's not SS. SS. For, for Goten, for Goten specifically, this card is pretty much unreplaceable. Now, the thing is... This card gets power crept a little bit by the, the Kami buffs when we get those. But until then, this card is like, okay. So you know why this is good? This is 1.5 max HP on board. So yes. 1.5 so max HP, that undoes the debuff, and it's technically a 25% shield if you heal with the full. Shield. Yeah, yeah, combos with your shield too. And you also can easily heal it. Absurd, also has absurdly high RCB. And with the RCB buff too. It does not need RC buff, but I like it. So yeah. Yeah, and it's got super crosses and super L's. You can give this the LM lock shit. It's two different colors with the LM lock, which is really good. Haste is uh, funny, great. but it's always haste is always good if you can have it. So haste is actually no, it's actually really good for Goten because Goten has the similar loop to Pano, where it has the uh, it's like a two turn buff, and then. Uh, if you use another one, then the previous one keeps it, so you have two cards cap breaking at the same time. Yeah. And if you haste them, then it means that, like, on the final floor, when you're just trying to one-tap the boss, you can haste the one that's not spiked and use that one, so all three are hitting, like, fucking 24 billion or whatever. Also, for a yeah. AUN... No, UN3, UN4, and their alternates, they have a four-turn skill delay. If you're running a two-turn cooldown card... And they get delayed, you're kind of dead. But with Thulia, you can technically survive. Well, not even technically, you also, just survive. You just live. Also, <laughs> yeah. makes her good in that one random monthly quest that we get every month with the plus one skill. That's also good. Yeah. Uh, leader yeah, skill, this card is eh. insanely good. Whatever. The leader, leader skills, skills whatever. whatever. You would never, you would never leave this. Yeah, I'll probably matter. use it on Shiva Dragon, but that's whatever. And also, then her equip is. Guy? What'd you say? True. Fixed move time is kind of rare. That is. It true. is. <laughs> it's, become, it's becoming less rare though. Yeah. And they're they're giving it more and more now. Yeah, um, and then her equip is eh. two turn haste. So yeah, it is something. Two turn haste and it makes you seven by six. So it's probably okay for like AU and four. If this had like one more team HP on it, it would probably be broken. Yeah. But, um. Yeah. This card is like S tier. S tier. Yeah. And again, because of where it's good and how good it becomes on that team. You could almost argue it into SS tier just for that, but... For SS tier to exist, this machine has to be worth rolling in. <laughs> well, so. for SS tier, for it to be SS tier, it has to be good on its own, regardless of team. But eh, this not is really. pretty Depends. much exclusively good on, like, Goten, and that's it. Yeah, uh, it, next It's is... more niche than I want it to be, which is why yeah, it's not. Next is, uh, next is Sonya. Uh, if you're gonna want to box numbers search this one, 5116. Yeah. 5160 what now? 5116. 16. 5116. The VDP brick. 
poggers. What a combo. Fua, BDP brick. Fua. <laughs> uh, Damn, what a combo. I mean, it does make enough orbs, copium, <laughs> because it all orbs. True. But then it makes um, three, which is not even enough for Fua, so funny. The Evo one, I remember using... <sighs> Jeez, what? I used this on an SR2 team, but I can't remember what it was. Bad leader skill. This one's just VDP based, which is better because they took out the damn brick, except for was Super it Sena? Did I use this on a Sena team in SR2? SR2 was like Sena era. I think I did. Like, I used this Evo on a Sena team in SR2. That's it wasn't good, but I'm pretty sure that's what I used it for. Uh, Evo is same active, better uh, better awakenings. By better, I, I mean yeah. like barely, but yeah. Barely, but yeah. Uh, um, actually and then has the a equip is whatever. Eh, it's Shauna, but Shauna's not Rose, so eh, that's whatever. No, and Shauna wouldn't use this anyways. This has no skill boost. As free as this is as an exchange, it's not worth it. Uh, D, like. No, it's terrible. Yeah, I think it's D. You could honestly maybe argue it into like C, but I think it's D. It's okay. better than A, cause no, it's not. Cause Nay is like at least some cope of use, in, like the equipment. Uh, Okay, next is Lisette. So, yeah, this is the card we might have some dis I think this might be the card we have some disagreements on. Let's see. Where's Killing leader, go bird! Yep. Three turn VDP. A real Lisette I don't have? Valentine's true, one. true, true. Uh, 10 Z gamers? Uh, team HP. Three turn Void Pierce is always funny. Technically, it is a system. Let's change blue to green. So that's interesting. And you get a roulette. Oh, you get your full generation too. Quote unquote, full generation. Yeah, like I said, it's, it is a system. And it does have an actually pretty good leader skill. It's a huge fucking shield. Huge but... is debatable, but it's average for nowadays. <laughs> for meta leads nowadays, it's average. Yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, it's rare that it, it's all shield like this. Usually yeah. it's split between HP and shield. But Which this is, is the all better shield. option. It's, it's Which is the better option, but... As far as this card goes, in terms of being good, I don't think it's that good. Yeah. You want a hybrid, because uh, shield cancels, you know, mind curl, funny? Yeah. I, I agree with Shadow that this is A tier over Senri, but we're gonna get to Y in, once we get to the first turn. Eh, I don't think it's S tier, so <laughs> it might be agreement, but let's see. No, I think it's A tier, like over Senri. This card's not S tier. There's yeah. no fucking way. Why'd you say we disagree? Because I did not think this card was that I good. I say S tier. You, you, no, you're crazy. I think you guys are gonna underrate this card. I think you guys are gonna put this in like top of B or low A. I, you, I normally don't that. underrate cards. I normally overrate them. That's true. You're the one um, who got over underrated. This, this equip. You think this equip? Yeah, this equip is so good. This equip is like, on God, if th this equip yeah. alone is almost enough to make me want to put this card in S tier. Yeah, but... like this equip alone is so broken, or and it's like pretty much unreplaceable if you need this equip. Yeah. Like this specific set of actors. The fact that it's not just a two turn haste with really strong awakenings, but it's a four turn Fujin and Ad Absorb Break is crazy. Yeah, because I don't have Kyoko. So good. I'm considering buying this just because I don't have Kyoko. Cause... Yeah, this is almost your like direct replacement if you don't have Kyoko. Yeah, Kyoko is good for four turn haste. Yes, this is this is a unique it is, enough that it is, it is, it is good because good. it's a four turn haste, but this is the long a longer Fujin. Fortunately, it's also buyable, so you're guaranteed to get it, unlike a certain yeah. uh, system. And again, like I said, neutral. if you wanted to make the system TM that this thing can do, we should be getting a Godfest very shortly where you can buy this bundle a second time. Yeah, a I don't think the system time. is worth it. <laughs> this is yeah, like yeah. a one J copy. JP got a Godfest that was uh, when Goten and Gokrex and the white guy came out. Uh, that GFE that they got debuted in also had like some of the best uh valentine's cards in it and the bundle cards were in it and you could buy the bundles as well mm -hmm. uh other equip it's not bad that's uh, a triple the other, the so other equip is nowhere near as good as the first one but it's not bad it's a lot of team it's there's not that many triple team hp equips and there's... this one has oe tied to it so this also has red oe which pants doesn't have shark pants yeah yeah it's the something. only thing is uh cool down uh, I, I don't think Noah was in that Godfest, but I don't remember, to be honest. I know Thulia was, and I know Lisette was, and I'm pretty sure Maris was as well, but, um, yeah. And then, okay, this, this equip, the active skill is also horrible, and it's too really short. Cool it's too short. Sucks. Yeah, I agree with top A tier. What do you think? 
I agree with top of eight. Oh, I think I think it's worse than Maris. Oh uh, no, yeah, yeah, because Maris. I, it does definitely belong in A tier. It's just for the equip. Otherwise, I think it's like B. Uh, yeah. Okay, next is Dina. Then we get our resident Kaiba Dina. All right, Kaiba, you explain why this is good because I haven't played this in like. Not even I haven't even played it at all actually. And let's they give you a board of full bicolor, or, um, what you call it? The full poison classic. Or like a full monocolor board, you can activate your full leader skill off of it. Hold up, Milky, you just nuked your buffer. No, why? Did you have like tons of Valentine dupes? Otherwise, that was not worth it. Anyways. Also, it has decent damage too. It does. Yeah. It I is technically Crusader, uh, Crusader fodder. So. I once used two Dina and two Dina equips to clear Kalo Five. Crazy. Like when it came out. Very uh, base team. Whale. It is. It's pretty good. Uh, next is Dina's dumbbell. Uh, this equip is also it's good for Shauna. Pretty good. I I haven't really used this equip recently, but yeah, when Shauna came out, I used it a little bit. Um, but. I it wasn't even it buffed, the, so. Yeah, I've used it in the past, but I, I don't think I would really use it anymore, is the problem. That's kind of true, yeah. It was teammate like, it's being bad, crazy. Like it's, like, it's not bad, but it's not, like, amazing either. Yeah. Well, if we're talking team HPs, then the next one's better. But... Now, this is crazy. <laughs> the well, full blind that triple. Active skill, if only that fucking active skill wasn't tied. Yeah. That exit feels... If we put a 1 in front of both of those numbers on the active scale, like if we just made it like a you know a 16 or 11 turn cooldown, uh, and then this would be pretty playable. solid. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, no, you, need it, you need it one turn so you can use it as a sub and put fun things on top of it. No. True, actually. You no, please. Alright, uh, placement? Iba, let, uh, that's, that's on you. I'll I mean, argue with a triple S tier. Wait, it is worth mentioning that you know, the active skill aside, this is the only triple team HP recolor in the game. Which is... Eh. Which the, is the, the active I mean, cancels like the dragons, out. For like the toy dragons and stuff. I mean, the if active. you're putting it on something where you're gonna activate it every turn, or like a really long cooldown, like the toy dragons or something... See, but leader hastes are a no thing. way it ever overcharges. Leader hastes are a thing. So... Don't put it on the fucking leader then, put it on your sub one. I guess that's true. If you have a sub one, <laughs> that is. Yeah, if you do. But, uh, um, placement. I'll wait to hear Kaibas first before I argue. I'd say I'd say A tier somewhere around where Senri is, but I'll listen to Kaibas input. He's played it. He said triple S. Triple S, S tier. No. no. This, te this, this team is so fun to play. It's we fun, got... but in, in the relative terms of meta strength, where would you put it? Uh, I'd say at least A tier. Because yeah, you yeah. can you can dual pair it with full bulk leaders and still survive the gravities because it has a 55% and a 50% shield. Yeah. yeah, this is one of those giant shield leads. Yeah, is, it better than is it better than Lissette? Definitely. No mm, way, bro. No, that equip no, is crazy. Way, yes. <laughs> that equip on Lissette is kind of crazy. So. <laughs> There's no way that, that any of the Dino forms are better than Lissette's equip. There's just no way. Combine the Dino forms are better, yeah. Combined, sure, Combined. we're not doing that, bro. We're not aggregating the fucking Dina forms. Bro is uh, fusing. Okay. Alright, next is, uh, Alwina. Oh, oh, finally, the good card <laughs> from last run, but I think it's still good. Whatever. Was it last run she was good, or was it the run before? I have no idea. I forgot. It was the run before, because this card was good when Sena was the best lead. Something red was the best lead. Probably. Uh, this is... It's whatever. It's five turn cleric, and whatever. Heals, it heals and stuff. No damage, by the way. No damage. True. Wasted awakenings. Uh, skip. Next one. Oh, uh, Evo first. This was funny when it released, but then no one used it. <laughs> it was tragic. Well, this card came out when, like, this dark one was good when it came out because at the time it was like dark bricks that were good. Yeah, like, and this fit pretty well under the dark brick teams. And it had the L, which was pretty good. I think it only but, was single L back then. Now they gave it double L, which is better. It was single, but also the removing equip binds wasn't relevant when this card was good. That's true. So, um, yeah, and there was no gravity to make it so ten, three ten Cs wasn't enough. Yeah, void um, uh, attribute absorber. They've also better. they've also added that one turn of attribute absorb onto this, which is, it's fine. 
it's, it's not really not playable. Good. Like this I, was, I haven't seen it good, good use. In like late SR, early MD days. I just don't think this card is good past that anymore. Yeah. It's still good for what it used to be good for, but what it used to be good for isn't relevant anymore. Like last year, this would have been great if it had double typing, but it didn't. But so, eh. Yeah. Uh, um, equips increase the base HP by 500. Nah. Ooh, First equip is uh, this is nice. This is nice. The chocolate equip? Yeah, but bro, that fucking active skill again. They're doing that low active skill bullshit. Yuck. I mean, at and least this active skill is good. At least this active skill is not just locking your board. True. Like, this active skill is good for something, so there are instances where you would want that auto heal and this active skill to go off. I mean, you could put so that in a New Year's Comet. Like, if you want a New Year's Comet, it's technically yeah, this safe. Is well, yeah, but this makes it dark. You wouldn't want to do that. No, I'm talking about the first equip. The red equip. What are you looking at? What? Oh, you're talking about the red one. Oh, <laughs> we're going by order. Oh, for whatever reason, the thing that shall not be named has the dark equip listed first. I don't know why. You coward. But, true. A uh, box of chocolates? Yeah, okay. Yes. My This is good. Good for My God. extreme Shiva Dragon experiences. Cool. I mean, yeah. Super Helo -E is pretty rare, but the yeah. rest of the Awakenings don't make it good, so... That's the only thing they changed about it. Yeah, Super just heal. made it Super Wee Wee. Yeah. Uh, her other chocolate, the Beloved Healer chocolate. They gave it a skill boost. One sec. Let me pull it up. And a one second move time. Truly the buffs we needed. Why, why is it not there? There we go. Okay. They this is the good equip. It's the good equip. You sure? Is it though? Yeah, are you sure? Is it? Uh, what fire routine? Good wear on what? Well, I guess Shiva Dragon does need it, but... Shiva Dragon's good. For... Uh, yes, Metal and Terry's? But where, but where else? Where else? I am sure Metal and Terry's. Oh wait, not, not Metal, Metal and Terry's. Never mind. Uh, regular and Terry's maybe, uh, but... Burgle. Burger, man. Burgle. Burgle. Burger. I mean, Burgle did get a buff that makes him somewhat relevant now. Yeah, he did just get a buff. He is probably, like, borderline playable now. Where he's playable, I don't know. Hollow 5, that's where I've been using it. True. Maybe As a sub, not a leaf. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but yeah, and then the Dark Chocolates, uh... This is a shield tube, so I like it. Uh, dark chocolate? Uh, not good. Uh, active too strong. Try to, the only place this is probably good is like a Black Sun team. But Black Sun's like HP buff, no? You need like four Black Suns in your subs to actually Jeez, play it. But like, but like, if you wanted that active skill specifically and maybe a little auto heal. Better than the age shift. But also, like, Black Sun is fucking irrelevant now. True. So, <laughs> the Halloween shift is good in like three months. Halloween Chimney is Four turn system without oh. Void Pierce. Oh, you know where this is good? I got it for you. You know where this is good? Vipano. True, true, true. True. You can change true the dark to dark. Absolutely so true. Change the dark to dark. Easy. Okay, where are we putting this? I think this uh, card belongs in like B tier probably. Like, an equip is nice, but probably God, top Ask me, ask me two years ago, this card was triple S tier. Ask yeah. me now, this card is B tier. Top of B is fine. How the turn tides. Believe it or not, this is on the Nautilus team I'm using. That's crazy. I don't doubt it, actually. Um, okay, next. next is Akine. Valentine's Akine this time. Oh, 69.95 is awesome. 69.95. 69, nice. Oh, the Akine. The, the, the green one for Atelier. That's all that matters. That's like a True, place. never forget. <sighs> uh, bad. Condense the 10C and add another oh. 4 attribute? The the green one is still like actually okay, and the blue one is literally like the same thing. So let's talk about the red one first. How many uh skill turns is that? Two? Eighteen divided the, by three the is red six. One is fucking horrible. The red one is fucking six turn horrible. no, no thank Don't you. Talk about this one. Green one, the real one. Okay. Atelier the got buffed, so this is back. Ones, but... We're so back. No, it's not, bro. There's not many play. like other. I've seen so many Atelier teams and none of them use this. Because usually absorptions are two turns. This is three turns. This makes it good in MD4, AMD4. Now we're gaming. True. But whatever. Eh, this is still. And right now it's kind of mid, but. This has maybe. super skill haste, which means that if you have three turns, that makes it 15. And mean? 15 divided by three means that this is. Sorry, it's six turns. Sorry, it's eight. eight sorry, it's eight turns divided or eighteen divided by three is six. six. Yeah, so same thing. You have Fujin exactly like half of the time. Just run two. Easy. All I right. would not use this for a telly, by the way, but eh, true. depends. But we'll see. Uh, blue. This is same no as the, skill same charge. As the green, bro. No skill charge. Just same green. as same as the green, but they took away the skill charge. Yeah. It's seven turns. Whatever. 
And a full rainbow. This is no useless. Full rainbow. What is this? Richie? Richie at home? Uh, leader skills Bro. mid. Mid. Okay, equips. And then the equips. First red one. It's not bad. Uh, TPA plus. Then, yeah. No. It's not bad. No thanks. No Maybe. thanks. Terrible. You're looking at the same equip? You're looking at the blue one while I'm looking at the We're red. talking about the Akine's box of chocolates, right? Yeah, yes. this equip is not great. Okay, but. For, in my defense, it's sixty nine ninety six. Um. Okay. Next is the chocolate, the red chocolates. Oh hey, boy! <laughs> Super L, baby. Super L. Ah uh, yes, wasted awakening. Super L bozo. Yeah, L bozo. Uh, nope. And then the bad. green equip. That's not bad. It's whatever. Green equip is okay. Passable, but uh, not, not that rise, that no, use. no use. No use. Uh, and then the blue equip. It's guard break. Guard break four colors. Is guard, yeah, guard break four colors. Move time is not really it's okay. Something. Something. It's only how many fire you got? Y'all got for Noah? Uh, none, because I'm not trading for Noah. That's yeah, crazy. just wait. We'll, we'll get there. I traded set. for five Noahs. You yeah, will. I, I traded for two, rolled one, and I'm probably gonna roll a trade for a couple more because I have a shit ton of fire. Yeah, don't sell your dupes, by the way, like me. <laughs> nope. Yeah. All right, uh, it is worth mentioning, by the way, it is worth mentioning, there are only two four-color guard break awakening or equips in the game. The, the other one, one is... Th this one, and then uh, the Arwill, Dyer's equip. Dyer, gross. Yeah, but I still wouldn't use it. But yeah, um... Uh, placement. Uh, this card is like B tier, probably. Maybe even Where is B? Uh, eh, no, I like I think it's better than the stuff in B. Like, it's probably top of B, I think. Eh, I would not put it above Nocturia. Really? I absolutely would, but... I'd put it below Andromeda, actually. You're a tierless, bro. Hyper, hey, what do you think? Who knows? What do you mean, who knows? This is, uh, this is supposed to be... Well, what's the reviewers here? You're supposed to know. That's yeah. a rainbow card, who cares? It's <laughs> true. That's, it's not too good. It's actually true. Uh, next is ideal. The ideal. Deal. All right. Uh, fifty-eight ninety-two is the box number. Fifty-eight ninety-two. Uh, this is uh mid. Take into account tradeability. We we stated at the start that we 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 are gonna take into account the V Noah you can trade for. But some of these cards are just like so irredeemably bad that we put them in F tier anyways. Like these are seven star exchanges. These are not worth trading. Yeah. You would rather um, dump okay. five of these into a Noah than do a trade for these. So I remember, God, was it SR3 when V Ideal was like good? You pair this form with the Evo, like this one with the dark one, and then. That was like MD3. Covered... That's what went use. Was it MD3? For... That's what went use, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, it was it was around before then. I think I used this for like SR three as well. Ah, but eh, whatever. Rainbow was bad back then, so this card's not good now. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Like eh, this whatever. Evo, the base form sucks. Dark. The the dark ones equally slightly bad. better. Like, slightly better, but still bad. Like, still bad. Um, skill then, charge makes it six turns. Ah, whatever. Uh, the, and then not the, the light oh. one. The white one is like. It's a cleric. Man, but... it's like almost okay, but almost it just doesn't bad. have any damage. Guard it's got break. A bunch of, like, wasted Guard break. Uh, I mean, B Fagan and Quan enjoyers? No. Yeah. Nah. This ain't. I mean, it. you can super awaken it to make it actually almost deal damage. It almost. has levitate, which is like the most useless levitate super awakening I've ever seen. It's a seen, waste but... of plus points, is what it is. Yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, uh, equips. equips. First time. Eh, finger. Eh, double SB finger. Eh, it's whatever. Not great. Not good. It's not great. Um, the next one, the dark this one. This one's better. Other... This is probably like the best format of all of these. I guess it's still not really. Still that not good though. either. But yeah. Uh, the dark equip. Dark equip. Double SB team HP. Eh, Meh. whatever. Gyoko exists, <laughs> so yeah, that's true. And then the white one, you'd use it for stacking HP on dark teams. This one's yeah. like somewhat passable because five color, but hey, this is still not good. Too good, and that's a yeah. team away, but I think this is a C tier. 
Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah. Our Venus. Actually, we should balance out B tier. There's too many in B tier. Let's move down the other, uh, up to Astraea. You, you agree? Sure. Because they're technically mid. <laughs> you wouldn't be happy with dupes of these. Maybe uh, even not gonna. Hmm, I wonder what the next card is. A last card? Surely it'll be something bad, right? Yes, it will. Like, who even uses this? Yeah, who, 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 what even is this? Like, look, okay. look, 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 it's a seven turn. It's not gonna assist them or anything, right? Because it's oh, a looping run, right, 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 right? Surprise Pikachu meme here. Yeah. Yes, I had to add, um, I had to ask my, uh, my, uh, JP friend here to explain this okay. shit to me. So. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna just run this out one time. I'll just say, I said it at the start of the video. I'll say it again now while we're talking about the card. This card does not have a good option to replace Scarlet Witch in NA. And we do not know if or when we're going to get our version of Marvel, aka Gung-Ho, another story again. And even if we do get it, they might even cut Scarlet Witch out of it. And yeah. by the time we get it, this card probably won't even be that good anymore. This, this card... It, it's not really better than Aki. It's better than Nordis, but it's worse than Aki. Better than Nordis, but not by much. It's probably worse than Aki. Um, the only thing that makes this probably better than Aki is that you can cap break all three of them, where Aki is just based on his active skill because he's a transform. Yeah. But, like, this card... The haste is funny. Uh, <laughs> that, I, I'm, I'm trying finding options to replace Scarlet Witch, and they, they don't really exist. You need you need a cleric that does damage, and this there we just don't have one. All the good clerics that we have in NA that would work with this are full utility utility clerics like Maris. I pull up Scarlet Witch, it but I can't because there's no uh, legal things to pull it up. Say, <laughs> but yeah. anyways, what's a leaper? There's a plus better? five combo leader. It, yeah, I mean it's it's a good leader like. I mean, yeah. what you, is there another lead? You, 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 you pair this. You pair this with Gyoko. I see. I don't have it. Screw it. it Wait, Gyoko in, in, in JP. Gyoko in, in JP. This can Gyoko clear dark. AUN five. No, read Gyoko. In in JP, this can clear AUN five using Scarlet Witch. Let me look at my box. In... I don't have Gyoko. <laughs> uh... Oh, I see. Five plus water. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Noah. He's a, he's a water brick, and he's dark technically, but you can use an equip to make him red or blue if you want. I see. But yeah, so he's he's your pair that goes with Noah. But Mitsuki Ruka is another pairing. Uh, the problem, like I said, is just no Scarlet Witch. Like we just don't have a good option to use this. And now this way, card, this card is still really good for farming. This is probably like the best farming lead or sub system you can use in NA now, but using this for farming pretty much requires that you trade for three of them. Because yeah, the value the is better, for what I'm judging. Well, the, most of the best farming systems that use Noah don't actually lead her. They sub three of them and they use different leads, similar to what Shiva Dragon does or Nordis. So Shiva's free. It, it pretty, yeah, but Shiva's free and so was Nordis. That's the problem. Um, so this is like a pay-to-win version of Nordis or Shiva that requires you to have specific cards to use it. And you have to trade 15 fodder for three of them. I mean, you can God use this for Shiva Dragon. <laughs> like, you it doesn't make red. You can use Shiva Dragon good, leads for it. You can use it. Yeah, it, dragon is, it can be used as the VDP active for Shiva Dragon. That's true. But yeah, this... This, However, this, card, you is a, need this three. card is a fucking trap. Unlike Watatsumi, where you only needed one copy, which was essentially like a 75 stone exchange, pretty much. That was worth. This, because, yeah. this is a 225 stone exchange for a card that's not even close to being as good as New Year's Water was. New Year's was worth rolling it. This one is not. <laughs> well, the, New the Year's not being worth it. Is, really. is the VDP buff? It well, is. It pierces VDP for two turns, so yes, it is always up. It's not better system. than Aki, so... No, it is not better than Aki. 
Just because it's uh, you can't even sub this one to one either. Like, like you gotta I said, put the like only this. thing that makes this better than Aki in certain situations is you can DDC this card. You can't do that to Aki, which means but you get fucked. But this yeah, card doesn't really have fucked. damage output. Eh, double break, it whatever. It does. Well, I tried it and it didn't do any damage. I don't have it, well, so yeah. I can't try it. <laughs> Again, you know what would really solve that problem? Scarlet Witch. But. Uh, just like, do not trade for Akine or Ideal. They're both trash. Yeah, to they're, trade. Not, they're not worth trading for. Yeah. That's the problem. Usually, you know, it's funny because when we. Okay, we can put this in the tier and then talk about the trades, actually. Yeah. Okay. I unfortunately think this card is S tier. Unfortunately, I, I agree. But, like, in terms of value, no, it's, absolutely it's not. Thulia. It's worse than Thulia. But, yeah, as for value, this card is not S tier. Yeah, for but value, I think it's like bottom of S tier just because of what it can do. Even without Scarlet Witch, the farming utility on this card is really high. This but is man, the value for this card is. This is awful. basically Aki. This can do whatever Aki does. Just oh, getting it is worse than Aki. And Aki, you have to roll too. <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah. All right. I, uh, so I keep can... all my rolls. This was Equip. basically free for me. That's true. Whatever. I, I had lots of them too. Thank God I buy box space. Thank God um, I don't. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright, okay. uh, equip uh, is like a uniform. You remember a spy spy family uniform? This is that, yeah. but better, but this is whale. It so, is. Uh, yeah, no. If you're getting these, you're not putting it in equip. You're getting three of these and a uh, praying. <laughs> hey, if you get if you shadow, if you get three of these from the free rolls, you should be you sad win. because that means that means you just burned your luck on Hunter Hunter. Yes, like, your luck stat, and that's now a uh, negatives. Yep, but yeah. Anyways, that's all the Valentine card adjustments. I honestly I... think Aki, sh I mean Akane is not B tier. <laughs> I think C is better, more fitting. Because like the only use I see is Rainbow, which is also not good because she's not Devil. And like yeah. Yeah, that's fair. It's like but what happened here? What weren't you just coping this on the on Atelier? your uh, Atelier team earlier? I was coping a bit hard and I realized where would I actually yeah, use it. If you're Italy. putting it in C tier, it goes top of C tier though. That's true. Yeah. That equip is kind of it's better than a strip. Okay. Top of C is fine. Other than other than that, the tier whistle is fine. Yeah. I, I don't think Lee about... is actually worth C tier. Maybe top yeah, of we D. Talk about we talk about trades and bundles real quick. Okay. Just just run the bundles really quick because that will be fast. I bought the one dollar. Of course, you should. Maybe, maybe not even because this MC is trash. But maybe you can get lucky and hit one of the uh, big boys. One stone for one Noah fodder. True. Uh, yep. Or one dollar for one Noah fodder. True. My one dollar was penis. I hate um, this game. Yeah. True. Uh, Dolia. Yes. Uh, absolutely. The Thulia bundle. Absolutely. If you're spending money on this machine, that's the only one you really need to buy. Dina. Um, maybe. Dina, Dina's a maybe. Maybe. Dina. Maybe. I think she's probably worth having. So. The thing is, this is a second run, so odds are if you spend money on this game, you, you probably bought her last time. Yeah, I bought her and last time. I don't time. really think you need dupes of a one-turn cooldown card. Um, And then Lisette. Also a maybe. Yes or no, depending. If you have you Kyoku, maybe more not? Than, more than most likely, you'll get a second chance to buy this, so... If you have Kyoku, maybe not, but that equip is probably worth $30. I think I'm going to yeah. get it, even though I don't want to, but I'll have to. Like I said, you'll probably have a second chance to buy this in the future if you don't want to do it now. So wait and see maybe how it develops and buy it then if you want. But right. um, I'm not going to talk about the 100 one. <laughs> what were you talking about? Last yeah, time? that's just a sad one. Don't buy that. That's ass. Okay. I Unless you need to buy a pack. Stones for Demon Slayer. Yeah, that's the only reason you'd buy pack, it. But like not really. It's okay, literally so a pack for bonus. But trades. So the trades. Um... Nay, no, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Sonya, hell no, hell no, these are trash. It's so sad because like these are free on these machines, these like low rarity GFE, like the six star GFEs and the low rarity trades for these, we can there's... normally recommend a couple of them. I legit don't think there's any you could recommend. Exactly. There's only a like four. a couple and all of them are bad. Yep. Right, uh, the seven star GFEs, stay the hell away. All three of them are not exchangeable. Ideal is awful, Akine is awful. Alina's the only debatable if one. If you got lots of fodder, maybe Alina. Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise, these cards are totally horrible. Noah, I, I wouldn't even like if you're if you're not wailing out and you don't have lots of fodder for it, I wouldn't even do it. Yeah, you it's need to have like the excess bound. You have to have like three Noahs before exchange any release. Yeah, you you want to be able to like you need forty five fodder, the equivalent of two hundred and twenty five stones to get three of them. In conclusion, really, I'm bundling. Really, really have to consider. 
I'm just bundling and skipping. I'm not willing this, by the way. Bundle, Thulia, and skip. Yep. I, I, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure V Noah was in that Goten machine. In which case, 3% roll rate Goten, Gokrex, and the white one versus this? I'll take that one, the other one, every time. I ain't rolling this shit. Right, the, the fumble drop? What was the name? Hera? Get me the number. Hera. Hera? Right. Uh, box number on Hera is uh, 4216. 4260. Uh, DG Blix, uh, trade solely. Uh, that's uh, you need to be uh, like have lots of fodder, like preferably pre existing Valentine's fodder from like previous runs. But yeah, I mean, this this card is uh, you heard Thulia is good. Yeah, Thulia is probably the best card in this. Machine, like, I only because she's irreplaceable for Goten, who will be like one of the better cards. But with my current valentine's fodder i'd only consider trading for noah if i pulled two by accident <laughs> which i would not yeah, that's fair. yeah. If, you, if, if you're like ramen and you don't buy box space like you should be doing um then you probably have sold off enough of your valentine's cards that you don't have the fodder readily available for v noah literally which me. means you have to roll this machine which i recommend highly that you do not do Maris is the consolation prize if you get Maris consolation. Is your consolation prize, that's correct. Alright, uh, this is whatever, that's free. 10% gravity is not doing much, but in case there's a 90% super resolve, who knows? Yeah, uh, um, cool. equip? Pretty much the same. Eh, it's the free, so get one up. The equip's free, so whatever. Pick one up, it's whatever. Yeah, alright. And uh, for that's other right. seasonals, as usual, I would recommend picking up at least 10 chocolate hearts. True. Yep. Yeah. Ten is a good number. Ten is a good number to have. See, saying that while well, he only has two, absolutely true. That's because I I used them all until here. I'll buy them. That is end. true. Just or trade, you your trade for rainbow him. metals. Yeah. If you're gonna farm this, but. Alrighty. Well, Anyways. Thanks for guys, I'm gonna thanks. go. Have all right. Day. Thanks guys so much for watching. Uh, thanks to Dark Ryan and Kaiba for uh, hosting with me. Thanks to Eldritch Omen for the banner, and thanks to uh, uh, Vicious Soldier for all the hard video editing work. And if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe.